Now, this is a very important lesson because this right here sets up the foundation of the science we need to know to understand global warming and climate change. So watch this. So that's the important thing to remember when we talk about fossil fuels. What are they? Those are the three. Coal, oil, and natural gas. Remember those. Wait, hold on. So, so coal was once alive. We've got to go way back for this one. 300 million years ago. You ready? Now you see why they have to drill and dig deep to get at it, because it's it, it formed hundreds of millions of years ago, and a whole bunch of stuff piled on top of it. All this trapped with millions of tons of carbon underground. Okay, that's more to the 1800s. People found these fossil fuels and realized, whoa, when you burn this stuff, you get a huge amount of energy. By burning fossil fuels, we could, for the first time, power engines and machines, produce metals and concrete for building cities, run giant factories to make more stuff. Everything was faster and bigger. See why it was so important, and why it was so useful, and why we used it so much? We started living large. Do you know that you could get more energy out of one gallon of gasoline than from the Fast forward to today, and the fossil fuel party is still going. Look around, and you'll see signs of fossil fuels everywhere. Flip a switch. The electricity comes from wires that go out of your home and run all the way to a power plant. That plant probably burns coal for natural gas. Going for a drive? Most cars are powered by gasoline, which comes from oil. Taking a shower? The water is hot thanks to a water heater that probably uses electricity or burns natural gas. Even your food has fossil fuels. It's grown with fertilizer made from natural gas and transported in big trucks running on, yep, oil. We live in a fossil fuel world. About 80% of all the energy we use right now comes from fossil fuels. Wow. Okay, now that's a big number. So that's a good one to write down. Fossil fuels have made life better for billions of people. But remember what we create when we burn them. Yep, CO2. We take all this carbon that's been buried underground for millions of years. Add oxygen and there goes the CO2. Right up into our atmosphere. Where we'll stay for up to 100 years. And up there is where our search to understand climate change takes us next. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did, did you hear what he said? 
it stays in the atmosphere. That CO2 stays in the atmosphere for a hundred years. That's huge.